Hello everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, I'm sure we are all ready for another edition of Mr. M. Reads. Um, so last week we finished our Scooby-Doo adventure, uh, Scooby-Doo and the Frozen Giant. Um, if you haven't seen that, please feel free to click back and, uh, and watch through those episodes so you can read along with us. Um, so this week we're changing it up a little bit. We have a story about Mona Lisa who, I don't know, she's a very mysterious woman um, that was seen in a famous painting, probably one of the most famous paintings by Leonardo da Vinci. Um, there she is right there. So no one really knows who she is, but maybe this reading will give us a little insight as to uh, that question. All right, so this is the, again, this is the Mona Lisa. Here we go. Uh, it's made by Leonardo da Vinci, um, 1503 to 1505. So it took him two years to finish this. Um, it says, the Mona Lisa is the most famous painting in the history of art and has been reproduced more than any other. Yet no one knows the identity of the woman in the portrait. Though Leonardo left us thousands of pages of notes, he doesn't mention anything about his work. An early art historian thought it was a painting of Lisa de Gerhardini, the third wife of a Florentine silk trader named Francesco del Giacondo. You're going to have to excuse me for the pronunciations. All of this is very Italian. Um... So in Italy, the painting is known as La Gioconda. Um, our name for it, Mona Lisa, means Madame Lisa. And Lisa di Gerardini was 26 years old at the time the painting was made and had recently lost a child. That would explain her dark clothing and black veil, for, the, for these were clothes people wore when they were in mourning. So you can see she's wearing kind of darker a darker dress here there are other theories of the woman's identity some say it is pacifica brandano a friend of giuliano de medici some say it is isabella john Svorsva, sforza's wife some think it is a portrait of leonardo's beautiful mother some think she is too beautiful to be a real person and that she is an idealized woman. And others argue that she must be based on a real person because her features are so individual. Some art historians even claim that the Mona Lisa is a self-portrait of Leonardo as if he were a young woman. And what is she thinking? Why does she smile? A story is told that Leonardo had music musicians and clowns in his bottega as the woman sat for her portrait so that she would smile as he painted. But this smile has appeared in other paintings by Leonardo. Is he trying to tell us something? Is this a beautiful, or is this a peaceful smile, or is it a little disturbing? Why does she smile when she wears a black veil and all around her is dark and gloomy? Leonardo took this painting with him everywhere. Some historians say it wasn't finished when Leonardo left Florence, so he took it with him to complete it. If that is true, why didn't he send it to the person he painted it for when he was finished? Was there a problem with payment? Perhaps the woman died, or the person who ordered the painting didn't want it anymore. Some say Leonardo fell in love with his own painting and couldn't give it up. After Leonardo died, the painting was given to the King of France. In the late 1600s, King Louis XIV moved it to his palace in Versailles. Louis the fifteenth didn't like the painting and had it hung in an out of the way apartment of the palace. During the French Revolution, it was hidden so it wouldn't be harmed. Napoleon kept it in his bedroom. Finally, it was placed at the Louvre, a museum in Paris. During World War One and World War Two, it was sent out of the city for safekeeping. Only a couple times has it been lent to museums in other countries. It now hangs in the Louvre, heav heavily guarded and behind thick, bulletproof glass. Crowds of people come to see it every day. Songs have been written about it. One of the guards at the Louvre fell in love with Mona Lisa and became jealous of the people who came to look at her. In 1911, a man stole the painting from the Louvre and kept it in a, in a trunk in his room in Paris for three years. When he tried to smuggle it into Italy, he was caught and arrested, and the painting was returned to France. 
Whoever she is, Mona Lisa has captured the hearts of millions. I'll give you one more look at her. I'm sure if you wanted to do your own Google research, uh, Google has lots more information on the Mona Lisa. I myself have actually been lucky enough to go um, and visit the Louvre and actually see the Mona Lisa in person. Um, it, it was pretty interesting. It's a lot smaller than, than you might uh, imagine it to be. Um, it's not a very, very big painting at all. It's probably only about this big. Um, but yeah, so I actually have a personal experience connected to it. So thank you all for tuning in this week. Um, it's been lovely. <laughs> we'll probably have a couple more stories coming up in the, in the next couple weeks. Um, so it's been great talking to you and reading to you and uh having you guys follow along so i'll see you next week